All right, so today we're going to be creating a shape in on shape. All right, so this is on shape, and you can see it's kind of the workspace a lot of you've seen before. You're going to click create and document. And the first thing you have to do is name your document. So we're going to name this one simple shape. All right, and then click OK. We've officially created our simple shape. All right. And the shape we're going to do today is this one. And it's very familiar. You started off with this in orthographic, and now we're going to do it in uh, on shape. And we've got our front, our right, and in this case, this is going to be our top. All right. So we're going to go to simple shape. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how to navigate. So I can right click and drag around. I can click my scroll bar and move it and I can scroll in and out using the scroll bar. I can also navigate using this top tool. I can rotate things. I can click on one side and it'll take me to it. I can navigate through the sides using these arrows. But today we're going to use the top. So we're looking at it from the top and we're looking down. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top workspace. So now I'm looking at the top workspace. The top workspace is selected. And I'm going to go to sketch. All right. This is going to let us sketch things in two dimension, just like you would sketch in your engineering notebook. And on this drawing today, we're actually going to start with the top because I've clicked on the top. And for this particular shape, the top would be the easier option. And we're going to want to pay attention to some things. First off, we're going to draw from here to here. And then we're going to go all the way around this outside edge. All right. So we know from here to here, since each block is 0 0.75 inches or 3 fourths, I know from here to here would be one and a half inches. And we're just going to go start off with one and a half, down 0 0.75, over 0 0.75, and we're just going to work our way around creating our shape. So let's go to simple shape, and I want to draw a line. Well, look at that. There's a line right there. So I'm going to select line, and then click within my sketch area where I want to start sketching. I'm going to drag it over, and I'm just going to get close to 1.5, and then click again. Once you've clicked the second time, you can actually input, uh, input the length, so 1.5. Now I have a line of 1.5 long, and as long as I don't click Escape or mess with it, I can still click within here and move around this shape and add more lines to it from this spot. So I'm going to go down 0 0.75, so I'll click again, 0 0.75, press Enter. Go this way, 0 0.75, press enter, and I can tell that I'm going square or at 90 degree angles whenever there's these little orange dots in between. If I go out of that area, you can see it's kind of just solid blue. And I can even come down way far and still type in 0 0.75, and it's going to bring me back to where I need to be. So click here, 0 0.75, and I'm going to finish up the shape. Now, I'm going to click Escape once, and now I'm out of the Line tool. And I've created most of my shape, but not all of my shape. Because if you look, I've made the outline, but I haven't created this box. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to choose the Line tool, and I'm going to click this dot, because it'll let me click this dot, and I'm going to go up and just reconnect it up to this side. And you can see it automatically goes to 0 0.75. Press Escape once. Go back to the line tool, start here again, but this time I'm going to go this way. All right, press escape. I've officially created my shape. All right, so I'm done with this sketch. I'm going to click here. Oh, and you see I accidentally made a mistake there. I want to restore that sketch. I don't want to delete it. So if you click that X, it deletes it. You need to click the green checkbox. All right, so now I'm looking at my shape. And I'm going to click on, sometimes you can overclick. You can just click on this outside. I'm going to click on, wait for the bell. I'm going to click on these areas separately. So I can click on one, two, three. I can click all, on all three of them at once. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to click on this corner. All right, and I'm going to kind of scroll it over a little bit. I kind of want to be right there. All right. So this is my shape. And I need to extr I need to make it 3D. So I can go to this tool right here called extrude. 
and click it. And now it'll let me extrude up. So you can see this little arrow. I can drag it down, drag it up, or I can type it in. We're gonna type it in. So we're gonna go up 0 0.75. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna press enter again. Oh, 0 0.75, enter, enter. All right, I've officially made the bottom of my shape, but we're not quite there yet because I'm missing, I'm missing this column. So we're gonna go back to our shape and we're actually gonna look at the bottom of our shape. So we're gonna kinda come over here, look at the bottom. There's nothing there. I've got a bit of a problem. All right, so I've created a shape, but I can't see the shape that I made. So I'm gonna come over here where it says extrude and I'm actually going to see if I can hide it, which I can't, but I can click sketch and come up here and see how this is not visible. I can make it visible again. Okay, now I can see sketch one. I'm gonna click on sketch one. And I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna rotate down and I'm just going to select this corner. All right, just that one corner. So I went to sketch, I made it visible again because whenever I extruded it, it made it go away and I couldn't see it. But now I've selected just this one corner. Now I can see it. I'm gonna go back up to my top view and I'm just gonna kind of slightly rotate so I can see a little better right here. And I'm gonna click extrude again. Now I know that if two blocks together is zero points, zero or uh, two blocks together is 1.5. I wanna go three blocks together. All right, so that's gonna be 2.25. So I'm gonna go here where it says depth and do 2.25, press enter, press enter again. And now we officially have our shape. So if you look, this is the front. Let's look at our shape again. Front, our right side, and our top side. So we've officially created something in 3D using on shape, all right? And the great thing about this software is it's automatically going to save for you. So you've created this shape. Wait for the bell again. You've created this shape today. We'll, uh, we'll learn more about how to save it later. Uh, tomorrow we're going to look at some more complex shapes and some other things that we can do.